Hey guys, welcome to my channel, my channel, Lunar Eclipse Tarot, aka Kelly, 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 Kelly. <laughs> Here with a general collective reading, keep in mind, and because it is general, it may or may not resonate with your ass. Also keep in mind, Patreon did see it first. If you're interested, the link is down below. Also, thank you so much for all my new, old whatever middle in between subscribers i appreciate you and for those of you who've been donating cups of tea to me i appreciate you or donating in general um i appreciate you there was someone who actually donated from australia i believe and the email didn't work and i couldn't message them on paypal so i appreciate you if you are someone who has donated i appreciate your generous generous donations Anyways, let's find out what's going on in the collective. What is going on currently? The energy in the collective. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. This person feels like everything that you do is perfect. From the way you walk the way you talk, the clothes that you wear. Um, it's like everything that this person has been searching for. I feel like they don't really know how to please you. They feel like they, like they may not be able to please you. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, like nobody has ever been able to make them feel the way that they do. Um, this person could be single, not dealing with anybody else. For some of you, it could be your divine counterpart, soulmate, whatever you want to label them, Linda. Listen, Linda, whatever the fuck you want to label them. <laughs> Use your own discernment, okay? Don't be like, Kelly said it was my twin flame, so that's my twin flame. No! <laughs> Use your own tuition. I'm just picking up on the general energy, okay? Um, it's like every time this person thinks about giving up and moving on, um, they feel like instead of giving up and moving on, they want to reach out to you. Um, I feel like for you, it kind of resets your emotions and the way that you love them. Um, it's like they know that if they don't reach out to you and maybe express a little bit to you, that you're just going to completely walk away from this situation, walk away from them. Damn, feeling like you have the key to their heart. Hmm. Yeah, some of you have tried to walk away completely many times, but something's always bringing you back. And I feel like it's both of you who keep coming back to this connection. It's like they're afraid. What will you think? Um, this person doesn't want to be hurt. They don't want, more than them not wanting to be hurt, they don't want to hurt you. Um, there is some insecurity around this energy where some of the things that they've done or some of the things that they could potentially do, they feel like could be a deal breaker. So if you guys were to get into a relationship, could they stay committed? Could they, um, if they are a player, if they are someone who is actively looking for you and other people, could they stop that? Could they stop this almost like um, an insatiable thirst for chasing, for um, being free, for, you know, not having to set boundaries with anyone, not being committed to anybody, really just being committed to themselves and whatever pleasures they desire? Dude, again, they're afraid. Some of them, I think, doubt this connection the way that you could potentially be doubting this connection as well. Um, fuck, man. It's somehow feeling like this person had to learn some type of lesson and they're not sure if they'll ever have you again or they'll ever have the opportunity to be with you again. <clears throat> Putting that right underneath the Twin Flame card. Again, use your own discernment. I is not here to tell you that they are your twin flame. That is up to you. 
Listen, if I don't even know if my person is my twin flame, I sure as hell can't tell you who your person is. Okay? Listen, Linda. <laughs> Thinking about you a lot. I feel like they're trying to find... Uh, you know, some of them could be looking into tarot. Some of them could be looking into other avenues, trying to figure out what it is that they're feeling, why they feel like they're like drawn back to you, why they're feeling like they can't walk away. Again, I feel like that energy is mutual. There's really a sense of needing to be free from this person. I feel like they're really confused about what the hell they want. I feel like sometimes they can really envision you both being together and being in a solid relationship. But then I feel like doubt kind of creeps in and they're like, I don't really know if I can do this. For some of them, maybe they haven't been in a relationship for a very long time. They've just kind of been, you know, playing the field playing soccer, playing basketball, playing volleyball, tennis, whatever the hell they want. And so to have to commit to only ever playing soccer again, they're like, oh shit, I don't know, but what if I see basketball and I really want to pick that shit up and take it as it resonates. I feel like this person, they just, they've been very non-committal. And that has worked for them. So the people that they have been interacting with, although they could say things to kind of lead this person on, it's very clear that they are not offering the fullness of themselves. <clears throat> yeah, some of them feel like they just don't want to come on too strong. They really like you. Like they're really attracted to you um so much so it's crazy they're literally unable to feel attraction towards anybody else um like you truly in love with you even with those feelings and that desire they're still questionable you know things in the back of their head, really second guessing themselves. I feel like they don't want to fuck this up. If they have messed it up before and they decided to walk away from you, it's like they don't want to mess it up again. They feel like you would not allow that. You would not give them a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteenth chance. Like you will be fucking done. So if they're going to come to you, they really need to come in the most proper way, bearing their heart, bearing their soul. It's very intimidating. Yeah, dude, this... Thinking about you with other people makes this person very jealous. Really, like, envious of anyone who gets to talk to you because they're not currently talking to you. I feel like this connection has brought this person to tears. They are super attracted to you physically. I feel like some of you, the reason that you're kind of hanging on is because you feel like you need closure. You feel like this situation is not complete. You're not able to walk away. You're not able to let go of this person because you feel so deeply that they are something significant. They play some type of significant role in your life. Some of you are downright refusing to chase this person. And by not doing that, it's making them afraid that you'll never come around. This person doesn't want to be alone. If they are dealing with multiple people, that's the reason they're dealing with multiple people is because they can't, it's like they can't sit in silence. They can't be on their own. They don't want to be in their own head with their own thoughts, thinking of you. It always comes back. It always comes back to you. Um, it's like you inspire this person to want to heal and grow. I do feel like on some level they have changed, but not enough to make them feel confident that they could come in and not 
damage you or damage themselves again. There's a very strong desire to be their authentic selves, to really communicate with you everything that they've been thinking about. But again, it's like they're so used to doing whatever the hell they want. I think that's one of the biggest things that's on their mind is can they actually commit to one person? Could they actually have enough? Could they be satisfied enough within this connection to not make them stray, to not make them fuck this up? Some of them may even have issues, yeah, just like wanting to push you away, wanting to disappear on you. I feel like it hurts this person as much as it hurts you. They just, it's like they don't know how to fucking speak. They don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to tell you what it is that they're feeling, what it is that they want, their fears. Some of them are terrified that if they were open with you about some of the concerns that they have about having a committed relationship with you, that you wouldn't even understand where they're coming from. Yet they don't want you to be gone for good. And so until they can actually figure out 100% what it is that they want, they don't want to take the step towards you because they feel like this would be the last time that they could potentially get what it is that they want. <clears throat> Very reminiscent. I feel like something to do with your lips, this person, like the first time that you kissed, the first time that you embraced, this person is just like their nerves, they're nervous, excited. I just like that energy. They don't get that with anyone else. Like you could give this person butterflies. You make them feel like alive. I feel like this person um, potentially has like really bad days where they're just, they're feeling so lost. <sighs> the love that they want to express to you though, but some of them could be afraid that maybe you'll think that they're full of shit. <laughs> That based on how they've been treating you and how you, listen, you, I feel like you've always kind of taken the high road with this person. Even if you were mad at them, um, even if they did things to make you angry and to question this connection, I feel like until they absolutely know that they can be in a committed relationship and give you what you want to even mention that they love you or that they're thinking about you, I feel like you might just take it as like bullshit. Like maybe this person's trying to spit some game or something like that. Definitely could be dealing with someone who's like in that player type energy. That's why they're holding back. Some of you may even laugh at them. <laughs> oh, like that? Now listen. Not take them seriously. Think that they're just trying to fuck with you. Maybe trying to breadcrumb you. Um, yeah, it's like it's over before it even fucking begins. They're terrified. Not terrified. This person's terrified. Not only of you, um, I feel like you are very direct, you're very genuine, they know how you feel. Um, it's like this person doesn't even know why they pull away from you. The fuck? It's like they wish they knew why they pull away from you. And I feel like some of them do know why they pull away from you. It's just too intense. The way that they feel is just too much for them to fucking handle. Um, 
wanting to prevent it. So what they do is they just don't even reach out to you. More love. This, if you're dealing with someone who's dealing with a lot of people, player, play on player, um, they fucking love you. They love some of fucking you. Um, you've always loved this person unconditionally, no matter what. It's like you can't stop loving this person. You can't let them go. Um, shit, they're really feeling like it would be a waste of time with anybody else. Yet they're still fucking entertaining other people. And I think it's almost like a habit. Like it's just something that they've always done. I feel like even in a relationship with other people, this person could have had like that just very charming, charismatic, like they attract a lot of the opposite sex. Keep in mind, this is an energy reading, so if you are a male who is watching this for another male, take it as it resonates. Um, again, you could be a female, it could be a guy, it could be a male, it could be a female, or same sex. It's all energy, so this person is entertaining other people of the opposite or the same sex. They're just, they're, they're, they're... They're spreading themselves amongst the land, okay? They're really, it's like there's some type of like um, thrill chasing that's going on. This person likes to chase. They like to be chased. They like to be desired. They like this feeling of being like sought after. Um, why? There is no doubt that this person loves you, though, and that, again, they do feel like they would be wasting their time with anybody else, yet they keep fucking putting themselves in these situations where they literally are wasting time with other people. Instead of focusing on themselves and things that need to be healed in order to move forward, in order to get what it is that they want, which would be with you, It's a vicious cycle. They just continue to do the same type of player shit that they've been doing. They do miss you. They miss being intimate with you, your body, your mind. Something to do with your um, backside. Something to do with you walking away. <laughs> this person really likes your bum bum. <clears throat> physically so attracted to you. I feel like it could have been you guys being intimate that really originally kind of had them hooked. And then the longer that you guys have not spoken, not seen each other, have not been intimate, it's like they had to reevaluate what it is that really draws them to you. Because if they're not being intimate with you and they're being intimate with other people, but it keeps coming back to you. I feel like some of them could have played it up as being like, um, it was just because of the sex. It was just because of your bum bum. It was just because of these certain things. And I think the longer that they were like telling themselves that it just didn't make any sense. Because I feel like this person is very attractive. They could have pretty much anybody that they want. I feel like they're really good. <sighs> they keep it PG. They're really good um, at those things that you do with people on an intimate level. <clears throat> Some of them may feel like that's all that they are good for. They could be feeling like maybe... You know, they just, I don't know, some of them could even kind of feel like curse, like some kind of, you know, um, karma, like they deserve to be alone. They deserve because of the way that they kind of treat women or men, because of the way they treat the opposite or the same sex, the way they kind of, it's like a conquering type situation. Um, you know, I think there's times when you feel like things are going really well with them, like they're reaching out, you guys are communicating, and then they just completely disappear. 
like too much. Too much. Definitely getting a heavy player energy from this energy that I'm picking up. Again, if your person, you don't consider them a player, don't shove this shit down your throat, Cinderella, okay? Use your own discernment. Use your own tuition. If you feel like this person is out there playing the field, then yes, this reading could resonate for you. But if they're not, don't say, well, Kelly, Kelly said <laughs> that you're a player, <laughs> It has to resonate with you. You have to somewhat know of the situation that's going, okay? I just want to make that caveat there. Um, dude, they find you to be so fucking incredible, though. They're grateful for you, but they're still, like, just fucking stuck in doing what the fuck they're used to fucking doing. Yeah, I wish, I wish I could be more open with you, God, I really, I just want to, you know, I'm sorry, for those of you that are new, sometimes I gotta chime in, I just can't fucking stand it, like, I've got four, five cards about I love you, I miss you, I'm looking for you and other people, yet I can't, I wish, I wish I could be so, oh, and you know what, this is my 3D chiming in, like, damn, like, shit or get off the motherfucking pot, like, if this is really how that you how you feel, stop doing the shit that you're doing. Where is that getting you, Lindo? Linda, where the fuck is it getting you? They do want to be more open. They got some shit from the past that they really need to work out. Um, some of them have been emotionally abused, physically abused. Um, some of them have, you know, mother or fatherhood wounds that stem from childhood, abandonment issues. There's a lot of ish that this person is, that they got to work through. And instead of choosing to work through it, they just want to keep working through people. Okay. This cancer doesn't fucking understand. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> to me, it doesn't, you know, but again, I come from a place of love and light and trying to understand, I guess, you know, if that's what you're used to doing, that's hard to break down and to change and to lose that toxic attitude and mentality and to really just get to the core of who you are and stop covering up by chasing people or having people chase you or being intimate with multiple people like this day and age, that type of behavior is a little fucking scary, you know? Um, they are upset up with upset with themselves. Sometimes they just like, you know, exactly how I'm feeling. They're like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I'm not doing anything but hurting myself, hurting you. I feel like sometimes it, it's just so overwhelming. This person can't even think straight. God, they miss you so much. They miss you so much, but they can't get out of their own fucking way. That unconditional love. Yeah, they've never been like this before. It's like they're addicted to you. Addicted to thinking about you. Wanting more. I have plenty of options, just know that I don't want them. <clears throat> and they don't. They really don't want... They're wasting their fucking time, and they are so aware of this. This this reading actually kind of pissed me off a little bit. I really hope that it doesn't resonate with a lot of you. And sometimes, you know, when I get readings like this, I'm like, fuck, don't post this fucking reading. Trigger fucking warning. I just, mm, play on, play Like, what in the actual fuck? Yeah, they have plenty of fucking options, but no one is fucking you. <sighs> and until this person decides to face themselves... They're going to keep doing this shit. They're going to sabotage the fuck out of any type of connection that you guys can have. 
running like their asses on fire, maybe you should be running like your fucking asses on fire. For those of you, you do what you want to do. I'm not here to tell you to wait or to run or to do whatever, but I, you know, I almost have no confidence in this person that they can change their ways. I feel like they want to, but I feel like they just, they keep, they keep just uh, this insatiable. They can't get enough. It feeds their fucking ego to chase and to be chased for you to chase them. All of that. The options, they just, they don't compare to you. I don't know how many, how many more people does this person have to go through before they finally make a decision to, to fucking stop and to look at themselves and to heal themselves and to really figure out, like, what the fuck do you want? What do you want? You love me. They miss you. They love you. It's just a big fucking distraction. Keeping them away from healing themselves. Fuck, man. All right. I'm just going to end the fucking reading here. I, you know, trigger fucking warning. Play on playa. I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to title this video. You see, I just, I'm like, why? Why do I have to pick up on this? Why does, why we, why, why, la, 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 la. Why is the generation like this? Why is our fucking generation like this? I don't get this. You know, I think it's just, you know, I don't know. People allow people to call them up randomly, go hook up, and, you know, what are you getting out of it? What are they getting out of it? I'm so Confucius. Maybe it's because my zodiac sign is considered, like, the biggest icebox. We don't, uh, not to say that, you know, we're all modest little vanilla cupcakes. Like, nah, you don't fucking know me. <laughs> you don't know a lot of cancers. We're about that, but not with, like, multiple people, okay? You know, so it's hard for me to wrap my head around this anyways. <sighs> if you're new to my channel, then you dig my vibe. And fuck this reading. Please subscribe. <sighs> it's not very often that the peanut gallery, which is me, is left completely and utterly speechless. This person has a lot of fucking work to do. If this resonates with you, <clears throat> I don't know what to say other than just sending you so much love and light. Um, bye. I don't know what the fuck to say.